In this video, we'll learn how to get data from Superbase into ClickHouse Cloud. So this is a project that I've set up in Superbase. If we click on database and then tables, we can see what data we've got loaded. So this is a stack overflow data set and we've got comments, posts, users, and votes. Let's have a look at the users table. So you can see we've got a bunch of data in there. And what I wanna do is load this Postgres data into ClickHouse Cloud. And so here you can see my ClickHouse service. Let's select that and then data sources and we're going to set up a ClickPipe. ClickPipes is an integration service in ClickHouse Cloud for ingesting data from various sources. We're going to use Postgres CDC. So you can see it asks for our credentials. So I'm gonna put the Superbase UI on one side of the screen and ClickPipes on the other. We can then go to the Connect tab in Superbase to get our host name. The port can stay as it is, the user is Postgres, and then the password is the one we set up when creating our Superbase project. And the database is Postgres as well. Let's click through to the next screen and we're gonna use a new publication. We'll then need to say whether it'll go into an existing ClickHouse database or a new one. Let's do a new one called Stack Overflow. We wanna load all the tables from public. And so we'll remove that public prefix from each one because we don't really need that. We'll leave the ClickPipe user settings as they are, and then we can create our ClickPipe. Give it a second, and we can see that our ClickPipe is now running. So it starts in provisioning mode, and then it takes a few seconds and we move into snapshot. As the name suggests, it's gonna take a snapshot of the data in Postgres and then ingest that into ClickHouse. If we click through to view tables, we can see how much progress has been made. It's gonna import the data for each table, and you can see the number of rows processed, how many partitions are being used per table, and then how long it's taking to load each partition. This is gonna take a while, it's probably six to seven minutes, so we're gonna speed it up for the sake of the video. Now that they're all complete, let's have a look at the users table. And we can see the data's all there, and if we click on the arrow next to the table name, we can see the schema for that table. I'm gonna minimize the sidebar and paste in a query to count how many records we've got in the posts table. We're using the final modifier so that ClickHouse fully merges the data before returning the result. We're also filtering out records that have been deleted in Postgres. And so we have 2,387,069 records in that posts table. Let's bring the Superbase UI back again. We're gonna delete some records in Postgres and see how that syncs across using ClickPipe's change data capture functionality. So let's first find some IDs and then we'll write a query to delete a few rows. By default, it will sync every 60 seconds. So we'll have to wait a little while for the changes to get picked up. Again, we'll speed things up for the video and you can see that we're now down to 2,387,065 records in the click house posts table. So four records have been deleted. Let's conclude by taking a quick tour of our click pipe. So on the homepage, we can see the CDC syncs that have been done. The top one is what we just did now. The other two are from a script that I ran earlier. On the tables page, we can click through to see our CDC stats, and you can see we've got the four deletes in the posts table. The logs page also shows us our three CDC syncs. We can also see there are the settings on this page, and then we've got a source page where we can see the state of the Postgres replications lot. At the moment, we're not really ingesting a lot of data, so it's not gonna be any problems on there. And then finally, we've got an overview of what's going on in the click pipe on the details page. If you wanna learn more about using Postgres and ClickHouse together, check out this video next.